Jesus, how many did she send after us? Out of lightning? Good thing we still got a big shiny ace up our sleeve. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't think he's breathing. Calico, it's around the corner. There's a doctor there. Protocol Epsilon. Sit down and roll up your sleeve. We will save your father, Mr. Rentier. engineer Virgil Virgil only it's an honor to finally meet you in the flesh <laughs> sir your gauntlet is a thing of beauty only a genius could I need that fixed yesterday I'll need a bigger lab if I'm gonna solve the mysteries of time travel sir I mean how are we doing arrow needs a scapegoat he won't leave without someone to blame for that fiasco. Pissed off little Highborn looking for her maker's head? No one could have predicted that. I don't think she did all that for just Abano. We're missing something. I bet my last buck we'll hear more from this Felicity tick pretty soon. I'm gonna check if Amelia needs some backup with Harrow. Who do I have to bend over this bar and indiscreetly <clears throat> fuck to get some coffee around here? What a day. See you in the briefing room. Need to check on my gauntlet first. There must be a workshop somewhere around. Mr. Rentier, Mr. Harrow wants to see you as soon as you're done in the... Mr. Harrow was waiting for you in the briefing room, sir. Yeah, yeah, heard that already. think he is the heir to the fucking crowd when i got your goddamn gilded invitation i expected champagne and canapes instead 
Some fag fuck broke into your headquarters and slapped you all around like a gaggle of whimpering sissies! Now the entire country is left unprotected while I stand here with my dick in my hand like an idiot! So again, could someone please tell me how the fuck did this happen? Security services were redirected to protect our most valuable asset. And how the fuck wasn't that me? That was my father's call, and it was Agent Gravener's quick thinking that saved your life, sir. For all the fucking good it'll do once I tell the Capitol that its primary defense against all kinds of monsters just collapsed. We'll take care of it, sir. What, from here? This place is a shithole at the edge of fucking nowhere. And don't be fooled by our humble trappings, Secretary Harrow. Calico Cell has the highest survival rate in the Institute, as well as its very best engineer. We are your only chance of turning this around. Then I expect a report on those tick assholes on my desk first thing, Doctor. And who the fuck are you? I, uh, uh, um... <sighs> Wait a minute. I'm the best engineer? You better be, because we need this thing operational as soon as possible, before Harrow comes back to string us all up. Harrow can suck my... How bad is it? Well, the glamour disruptor's fried. Then we have the insulation around the power coupling. Can you fix it or not? It's doable, but I'll need time. A few weeks, a month tops. We ain't got that long. We have to be ready to take down this Felicity character when we find her. You mean if we find them? We have no idea where to even look. Not necessarily. To the north, there's a canyon surrounding the main trail. And the unimaginative locals call it the Devil's Pass. And reports mention possibly unknown vampiric specimens. And we chalked it down to hearsay, but now we sent our top sanguisuge expert to investigate. I hope by expert you mean a field agent and not another bookworm. Scott Bloom co-wrote the Institute's Sanguisuge Best We need soldiers, not pencil pushers. I can't run around looking for a missing egghead hoping that maybe he brings something to the table. When did he last report? Five days ago. Now let's just hope he's lost in research. into. Money. 
This species appears to possess shape-shifting abilities, most uncommon for the typical sanguisuge. I dare say, this ability might be blood-dependent, but it's hard to tell based on the limited amount of evidence found. I'm wondering if we're witnessing some sort of accelerated evolution, spurred perhaps by certain unknown environmental factors. happening here. Oh, let's check this beauty out. Careful. Some trace of blue. Get the rocks ready. Get in place, assholes. Wait for my signal. Ready.
This canyon is protected like some kind of vault. What are they hiding here? Finders keepers. Taking it. Hope I'll find Bloom in one piece. Jesse Tune, Bridges Zero. Research continues, but nothing I've seen explains the unusual capabilities of this curious animal. Judging by the diameter of the tunnels it creates, I estimate it stands at least eight feet tall and is quite powerful.
Flying creatures most disturbing. They appear in large numbers, protecting the newly transformed Sangrasuges like hornets guarding their hive. It's not clear if that's their only purpose. Perhaps they also gather sustenance and function as scouts. Did it go? Uh. Yeah, 
Yeah, looks like I'm getting closer to its nest. Ugh, what a stench. Is that you down there? Uh, yes, it's it's me, but who are... Ugh. Whoa, you're Jesse Rinier, sir. Splendiferous. Care to explain what happened here, Bloom? Oh, oh well, I was sent here to investigate reports of a novel breed of sanguisuge. When I arrived, I encountered a group of familiars. Apparently sent here by their masters. That was a familiar? How come a human turned into that thing so quickly? Well, excellent question, sir. My thesis is that their transformation is linked to the blood from these creatures somehow. The how is what I'm stuck on. Uh, we better take one of those things back with us to the lab. Still beats me what those familiars were doing here. Well, from what I could gather, they were sent on a transport detail. Securing a convoy of carts filled with some curious, wriggly little creatures they brought from McCallum's sawmill. No, we need to check that place out.
Where are you off to in such a hurry? Bar run out of whiskey? Jess, when we dragged your dad in here, there was an awful lot of blood on him. He'll be fine. Bastard's too damn stubborn to die. I've seen my share of battle wounds. The ones William got, no way even half of that came out of him alone. Somewhere between the falling airships and hopping boo hags, I don't know. Could be that collateral damage wasn't the tick's only objective. Could be they... Uh... They infected him? No. No fucking way. Jess, hold your horses and just think about it. The Institute is infiltrated, and they let both you and William walk away? Jess, when a tick turns a familiar, they form a sort of bond. The sire can see into the servant's mind. Now, they make that link with, say, the man who developed that weapon you're carrying. Edgar, our orders are clear when folks get infected. Infected means dead. Those are his own words. Breathe. I've got an idea. Remember that crap I brought from Lake Moripass? That plan that was supposed to be a base for a cure one day? I'm not gonna gamble my father's life on some swamp nerd's magic potion. It's not like we got a handful of aces here, Jess. Dabano and his lunatic spawn had taken the fight to us. And I sure as hell don't want to go to war without our general. Do you? All right. The plant might be back in the manor's ruins. I'll go check if there's anything left of the lab, but you... I go. You need to take care of the gauntlet. I don't give a flying fuck about the gauntlet. I'm not sitting on my ass while my father grows a new set of teeth. I know one asks you to, but if I fail, you and that gauntlet will be the only thing between us and a war we can't win. I got this, okay? Just keep an eye on that nosy lady doctor. And stay close to William, just in case I don't make it back in time. for you in her lab. That's what worries me. It's not something you can orchestrate overnight. We've been fighting each other for centuries. Until recently, the Sanguisuge reproduced by turning their familiars. A slow, but effective process. But now there's this new breed. <sighs> Popping up like rabbits. But they're fierce and resourceful, but still not anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. Well, if anything, they're a step backwards. Mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. This is Bono's idea of an army. Humans turn to minions or whatever. Foul blood beasts they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir. Splendiferously observed. Well, I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. <sighs> God, why do I have to be such a pig? Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi! <sighs> Holy moly, where are my notes? <clears throat> As we all know, Faraday's mutual induction phenomenon. Virgil, take it easy with the jargon, please. You're talking to a field agent. <sighs> Diamagnetism, polyphase system. Uh, you sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about... Uh, never mind. Here it is. Long story short, I reverse engineered the disruptor mechanism and identified the problem. Its energy consumption is off the charts. Best engineer in the Institute, huh? Well, before you jump down his throat, perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself. Miniaturization has its limits. If you want a working disruptor like this, you have to accept the fact that it won't be, well, portable. Like Amelia so kindly pointed out, I'm a field agent, as in I go out in the field. If the gauntlet's not portable, it's useless. 
I don't mean to put your ass over the fire, but... Apparently you do. But, if we don't get it running, we're all done for. Can you make it work? Well, maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original Disruptor... Done. Where can I find them? 